of our South America chapter. This is the last chapter of your semester. And in this uh, video, we will discuss about the physical features of South America. We will study about the physical features of South America. It is categorized into four. The first one is Andes Mountain, then the Eastern Highlands, then Central Plains, and the Western Coastal Strip. These are the four important physical features of South America. So we will deal with the first one, uh, first one now, and then uh, the uh, second part will be a PowerPoint presentation. So I will go through it in a very short way, and after that, we will discuss it in a PowerPoint presentation. Because most of the fill up questions is, can be asked for an exam or given in detail here. So you have to go through that and you have to study it. So let's uh, give, uh, start with an introduction of uh, the physical division of South America. The first one is Andes Mountain. This Andes Mountain, it is also called as Andean Cordilleras. We have studied in the northern, when we studied about North America, I told you that Cordilleras are chain of mountain which start from North America and it ends uh, till Mexico and then again it continues in the southern or in the South um, America. So here the same thing, the western Cordilleras, it start from the north tip of uh, South America and continues in the south. So it is a uh, continuous chain of mountain. Three important divisions are there, but still we consider it as a continuous mountain range which starts from the north and it continues and it reaches in the south. So it's a uh, uh, mountain range which is considered as a young fold mountain and it is the highest mountain range after Himalaya. Second highest mountain ranges are this Andes mountain. It is also called as Andean Cordilleras. Now the western side of this uh, South America is Andean Cordilleras. You can see here it's not from north and continues till south. This part comes in the Pacific Ring of Fire. So we can see so many um, uh, volcanic mountains in this area. It is a place where the constant earthquakes and um, you know, this uh, volcanic eruptions happen. Three important are the Porto Pasi, Kain Beach, Inverasu. Like there are so many uh, volcanic mountains are there. In that Porto Pasi is very important because it is considered as the highest um, yeah, volcanic mountain in the world. So this is about the western Cordilleras, and now we we'll move to the next one that is the eastern highlands. The eastern highlands are three in number. The first one is the Guara Highlands, which is here, and then the Brazilian Highlands in this portion, and then the Patagonian region in the south. So they are three in number. The first one is Guana Highland, and Guana Highland is very important because you can see the Salto Angel Falls, which is the highest waterfall in the world, can be seen in the Guana Highland. The next one is Brazilian Highland. Comparatively, Brazilian Highland is higher than the Guana Highland. Then the last one is Patagonian Plateau. It is not a mountain region, it's a plateau, it's a table land, and it is also considered as a cold desert like our Ladakh. So it's a cold desert region, Patagonian Plateau. So these three are the eastern highlands. So in the western side, you can see the mountain ranges, and the mountain ranges. And in the eastern side, these three highlands are there. The first one is Guana Highland, and the Brazilian Highlands, and the third one is the Patagonian Plate. Now moving towards the third one, which is the Central Lowlands. In the Central Lowlands, grasslands are there, thick forest, evergreen forest are there. So we can uh, categorize it as the first one is Llanos. Near the peninsula, we can see here Llanos, sir. Um, uh, tropical, oh sorry, uh, it's a grassland which can be seen in the torrid zone. So here you can see the Llanos grassland, it is a tropical grassland. And uh, here again you can see uh, Selvas. Selvas are um, evergreen forest which can be seen in the Brazilian um, uh, Amazon forest which is in Brazil. So Selvas are the evergreen forest and here Llanos are the grasslands which can be seen in the tropical region. Now coming toward the south, here uh, we can see the Grand Chaco region. In the Grand Chaco region is considered as the most fertile place in South America and toward the south we can see uh, another grassland called Pampas. Pampas are another grassland which can be seen in the south of South America. So here four important things we have to study that is the first one is Llanos, Selvas, then the Grand Chaco region and the Papa. These are the four important things. And although many rivers are there, uh, this is called the Lap Tacha River system, they 
Let us continue with the physical features of South America. The physical features are four in number. The first one is the Andes Mountain. Second, the Eastern Highlands. Third, the Central Lowlands or the Central Plains. And the fourth one is the Western Coastal Strip. So these are the four important physical features of South America. This continent has many snow-capped mountains extensive evergreen tropical forest like for example amazon forest vast fertile plains and hot desert its uh, land features can be divided into four and these are andes eastern highland central lowland and western coastal strip now we'll uh, discuss about each one in detail the first one is the andes mountain the andes mountains are the western mountains of South America and this area is prone to volcanic eruption and it comes under Pacific Ring of Fire and it is also referred as Andean Cordilleras. It is the world's longest chain of mountain and the second highest mountain range after Himalayas. They are made up of young fold mountains. It stretches about 8000 kilometers and they are young fold mountains which can which uh, run parallel to Pacific Ocean in the western part of South America. The mountains extend from Panama in the north to Cape Horn in the south. So in this part also many fill up questions can be asked. So write down these points or you can write some fill up questions from this part and you can learn that. Andes Mountain are the, uh, are the western mountain of South America. So it is also called as Andean Cordilleras. So they are also made up of young fold mountains and they are the uh, second after Himalaya. They are according to their height they are in the second position after Himalayas. Now you can see the image here. It started like uh, in North America when we studied about the Cordilleras. I told you that it started from the north and it continues till south and then in, again continues in the southern uh, South um, America. And here you can see the Andes Mountain which starts from the north of South America and continues till the south. So the Im image shows it clearly. And some small areas are not uh, no, means the mountain is uh, not shown. That is the coastal areas, and it comes under Atacama Desert. So leaving that area, almost the uh, portion which is from now north to south comes under Andes Mountain, and it is a uh, parallel and uh, continuous mountain without any break. It starts from north and continues till the south. More details about Andes Mountain. It consists of three parallel ranges. Mount Aconcagua in Argentina is the highest peak of Andes. Very important, Mount Aconcagua in Argentina is the highest peak. This region is also prone to volcanic eruption and earthquakes and it comes under Pacific Ring of Fire. Chimborazo, Mount Cotopaxi, Mount Cayambi or etc. of uh, Ecuador are uh, some ac active or volcanic mountains in Andes Mountain. Andes Mountain Range uh, is a source of a river of South America. They provide cheap hydroelectricity for the surrounding region. You can see the Andes Mountain here, Mount Aconcagua, which is the highest peak of Andes, and volcanic mountains. Now, Cotopaxi, don't forget, it is the highest active volcano in the world. Mount Cotopaxi is the highest active volcano in the world. 
the second topic is the eastern highlands so the second physical feature of uh, south america is the eastern highlands the eastern part of south america has three major highlands and they are made up of crystalline rocks they are flat plateaus and rounded hills and uh, they are the first one is guana highland and then the brazilian highland it lies the first one is guana highland it lies in the northeastern part and the lower in height than brazilian highlands they are separated by amazon river the world's highest waterfall that is salto angel waterfalls in peninsula it is located in this highland next one is the brazilian highland it lies in the coast say sorry in the central east they are more extensive and higher than guana highlands it lies south of amazon river so in this part the most important one is the highest waterfall that is the salto angel falls and it is in peninsula you can see the salto angel falls and uh, now you can see the guana highland here and the brazilian highland it is marked there guana highland and it is on the north and in the eastern side you can see the brazilian highlands then the third one is the patagonian plateau the, which is in the south you can see which is in a light green color or green color which is in the south that is patagonian plateau so guana highland brazilian highland and the patagonian plateau which is in the eastern side are called as the eastern highlands P patagonian plateau it lies in the extreme southeast of south america the plateau represent uh, the gentle slope of andes ranges to the east these ranges slope down towards the atlantic ocean many rivers flow down the slope this plateau is a arid region arid area means waterless region like a desert or a semi desert region consisting of cold desert and this patagonia is a cold desert deserts are of two types usually we use the word desert for a hot region and uh, cold deserts are also there for example ladakh ladakh is a cold desert and like that this patagonian desert is also a cold desert the third one is central plains the central plains lies between the andes and the eastern highlands these plains occupy about half of south america it consists of three main river basins they are orinoco and the amazon in the north and la plata river in the south so it can central plains are in the almost middle portion of south america it consists of three river basins the river basin of river orinoco and the amazon in the north and la plata river in the south you can see it here uh, selvas are there pampas are there grasslands are there and evergreen forest selvas are the evergreen forest and it all comes in the middle portion that light green color is uh, uh, the central plains and uh, selvas in the north and the pampas in the south pampas are the grasslands here and selvas are the um, grass or uh, that uh, thick forest of uh, in the amazon basin we can see the amazon rain forest in those areas we can see this selvas and the more details about the central lowlands or the central plains the orinoco river basin lies in the north part of central lowland orinoco river rises in the guana highlands and joins the atlantic with atlantic ocean it is a navigable river orinoco river crosses uh, uh, the llanos plains of peninsula it closes the llanos plains of peninsula its basin is covered by tropical grasslands called llanos which means plains so here we can see a grassland it is called the tropical grasslands are called llanos and now the amazon basin it lies in the central part of lowland largest of uh, three basins and here we can see a tropical evergreen forest very important learn that it's a, mm, a tropical grasslands are called llanos very important and the next one is tropical evergreen forest are called selvas and they contain so many hardwood trees because they are in the tropical region tropical rainforest region so we can see so many hardwood trees there la plata basin 
it lies in the south of central lowland the paraguay parana and uruguay these are the three rivers together we call it as the la plata river system so which are the rivers which we call as la plata river system it's a combination of three rivers they are paraguay parana and uruguay this three rivers combined together we call it as the la plata river system the north of this basin lies in the northern region or in the region called grand chaco region this region is very commonly called as the grand chaco region and it's a vast fertile alluvial region because uh, it's a valley of three rivers the central area of this basin consists of a grassy land or grassland called pampas so here you can see the grassland which is in argentina it's called as pampas and the extreme south lies the patagonian desert on the south it is patagonian desert so these are about important uh, things that is llanos campos pampas these are different grasslands which we can see in south america and now the last portion that is the western coastal strip of south america it's a very narrow lowland it runs down continuously from the northern end of the continent to the south between the andes mountain and the pacific ocean it is a narrow because of the sharp slope of andes mountain andes mountain is there and in one in the uh, in one side and the pacific ocean in the other side so it is sandwiched between this andes mountain and the pacific ocean so it's a very small narrow area it is found in chile peru ecuador and colombia the atacama desert is very important it lies in the coastal strip it is a desert which we can see in south america and this desert is a very narrow desert and it is between pacific ocean and the andes mountain it forms the longest but the most narrow plain in the world so this you can see it here the atacama desert and the plain of uh, south america which is uh, from which start from the north and continues here which is given in the picture it is the atacama desert and uh, it's also a very narrow strip of land which is from north to south and the countries which are uh, which is included are chile peru ecuador and colombia and these are the main four important physical features of um, south america and in the last next portion or the third part will be the last part of our uh, video of uh, um, uh, sixth of your class and after that i'll upload one of, um, a map of south america and in this part we are winding up here till uh, western coastal strip and in the next part we'll study about islands rivers and uh, some case study about amazonian basins and the people who live there so this is the end of our second part of south america thank you